Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell and welcome to Look Back. This is where I take a look at reviews I did a year, five years, and ten years ago and tell you what I think about those games today. So we're going to start with a year ago. Uh, first of all, I took a look at Lander Toppen. Now this is kind of a intriguing game where you are basically, you have all these countries with different stats, their population, the size of the country, and you are sticking them in various places uh, trying to say this one is going to be the one with the lowest population. This one's going to be the one with the highest population. You're trying to outguess the other players. It's a little more fiddly than I would like it to be, but I, I, I enjoyed playing it. Lander Toppen. Then Castles of Caladale. Castles of Caladale is a Carcassonne style game where you are building a castle with tiles. And it's made up of, there's four very distinct styles of castles and you're taking these tiles and putting them in there but you can rearrange the castle whenever you want which is kind of interesting and you get points it's a very free flowing style game that works i was really surprised that this one has not gotten much buzz at all because it's easy it's fun and it looks really neat when you're done building the castle clank sunken treasures now clank has now been split essentially into two lines we have clank and clank in space but Clank is still my go-to for the simplicity of it. And Sunken Treasures, I really enjoyed the water boards that this added. Uh, as you, you know, the different cards go through the water. In fact, if I'm playing Clank, I'm probably leaning towards playing with one of these new boards just because I like the theming of them a lot. All right, five years ago, first of all, we have Even Steven, which is a trying to guess some numbers, party style game. That's just blah. Urbanization. This is a city building game that just just misses the mark. There's so many amazing city games out there. And this one was bland, uninspiring, and didn't even really feel like you were building a city much. Then we have Kingdom Builder. Hmm. I still feel the same way about Kingdom Builder. I thought Kingdom Builder was an interesting idea. It was like the second game from Donald Baccarino who made Dominion. And it won the Spiel des Jahres, and people love it, but I'm not on board there. I don't really like a game where you have a hand of one card, and you decide where to put it, and the whole thing is just kind of abstract as you're forming groups. I can see, I can see the appeal. I don't think the game necessarily is a bad game. It's just that definitely not one I find interesting at all. Uh, then we have Chicken Caesar. Now, when I first heard about Chicken Caesar, I was a little worried because when it was being in development... Uh, so it was very close to nothing personal that I was developing. But in the final end, it's not really. In this game, you are controlling chickens who are going to be Caesar. This one's dropped for me slightly because it's a little samey and it doesn't have the cutthroat negotiation that it looks like it should have on it. There's some interesting things that go back and forth on it. Although, you know, the chicken and Caesar jokes kind of wear thin a little bit quickly. But still, it might be one that people might want to check out if you like that backstabbing, maneuvering people into position type games. All right. Now we're going to drop, oh no, oh, one more, I'm sorry, five years ago. This is a big one, and that's the Caverns of Rocks Ore. This is from Super Dungeon Explorer. This was just an expansion I really liked a lot. While my fascination for Super Dungeon Explorer has really dropped over the recent years just because of other things like Arcadia Quest, this was a good, solid expansion for that game. Ten years ago, first we have Bulp. This is a bad game. The less said about it, the better. Just kind of an Uno type, just really bad game. Foresight, where you're trying to put down tiles and surround things and get numbers and blah. I did not play many good games 10 years ago sometimes. All right. Power and Weakness. This is an area control style game that I gave a decent review to 10 years ago. I look at it now, I look at the graphics, and I'm like, what? No. Even if it's a decent game, the graphics and the, the theming of this just deliberately fall for me because it's just not that interesting. Pichurica, though. It's weird to me that this one is 10 years old now. If you like Where's Waldo, this is the kind of game, you know, you put these board together and everyone's looking for different pictures. What can I say? I like that style of game. I don't want to play it all the time, but it's especially fun to play with kids. And then finally, Glory to Rome IV. This was the fourth, this was an, a, a newer version of the game. The original game of Glory to Rome. Glory to Rome is kind of a fascinating game. When it first came out, I said, this game's pretty cool. It came in a bag and... Uh, and I, I remember doing a review on it, and there was not much buzz on the game. By the time I reviewed it here, 10 years ago, it was starting to get some buzz. And then suddenly, I don't know what happened, the game just exploded, and everyone really wanted to play it. Uh, Glory to Rome 4th uh, IV here was, it came in like a plastic box now, and some of the components were upgraded. <laughs> it was slightly better. Uh, I still think Glory to Rome is a fine game. I enjoy it. I'm 
a little less enamored with it than I used to be. I still like the idea of playing a card and everyone else can follow. That, that concept works well, but it's just not one I'm wanting to play all the time, which is why the rating has slightly dropped here. But still an excellent style game. Anyhow, that's all the games I took a look at one, five, and ten years ago. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching Look Back on the Dice Tower. <laughs>